Music is a, a way of telling a story. From the first breath of human existence, the sound became a, a vehicle for telling story. I'm Jeremy Donovan, a very proud Gorgor Yalandi man from far north Queensland, and I'm an artist among many things. I um, was contacted by QSO to, to gauge my interest on creating an artwork or, and, and creating a conversation within QSO around the theme of reconciliation with, it, with the reconciliation action plan in, in mind. And obviously straight away I was able to express that you know, I've had a long relationship with music and so I wanted to be part of a creation of art that could go along and complement the music of the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. One of the interesting things for me as an incoming new Chief Executive of the Queensland Symphony Orchestra is that this time for the orchestra is full of opportunity and it's an opportunity for the musicians of the orchestra to have a voice in what they care about and one of the things that they care about is our connection to community, our relevance within the community and how we express that the overall engagement of everyone and their interest and their desire to want to come and sit down every morning, every day, you know, and see how it's changed overnight in their absence, it's, it's going really well. Um, I'm just trying to capture as many aspects of the Queensland Symphony Orchestra, whether that be, you know, the administration, the executive, all the way to the musicians. So everything that makes, I guess, Queensland Symphony Orchestra what it is. I'm really interested to see how um, the painting unfolds as a story of the Queensland Symphony. So, um, you know, it's almost like looking in a mirror, I guess. Um, we're seeing um, all the interactions that he's had with all of us appearing on the canvas and it's going to be great to have a look at the final thing uh, and see it all come together um, in something that is a bit more permanent around the building. Having Jeremy in the office has been very inspiring. From the first moment I met him on a Zoom call to now, watching him work um, has been amazing. Just the second art, it lives and breathes in everything that I do. That there's never a day where, in my life, where you know, sort of music's not present or art's not present. For me, it's not a job; it's my identity, right? Like, and, and I get this incredible privilege to be able to share my identity through my art, through my music, with so many people. From a cultural perspective here in this country, when we, we when we map, you know, sixty thousand years of, of culture and, and the, you know, sort of the continued culture, stories have been kept through sound, through song, through dance, through music. It's so important to the preservation of culture and to the success of, of a thriving culture, you know, here today. Our aspirations for our Reconciliation Action Plan is that this period of time is focused on listening and learning from the First Nations friends and colleagues that we have around us and throughout this fantastic state. We want to connect with them and their stories and we want them to hear about what we do as musicians. I guess everything I, I dream to achieve is to create a conversation of understanding and a better understanding about what the history of this country is and what our hopes and aspirations for this country is with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people really able to exist and to be celebrated in corporate, in, in government organisations, but to be able to excel and, you know, I want I've always wanted and had this dream that young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people from remote regions of this country come in and they can see anything as possible. And that, you know, whether it be, you know, sort of as an artist creating art for a symphony orchestra or the likes of, you know, someone who's celebrated like William Barton to be able to play alongside symphony orchestras. But I think, you know, sort of just putting this artwork in places and putting music in places, it gives our young kids another dream that anything is possible.